kind of got a little ahead here because I wasn't sure if I'd have enough time because we only have an hour. Um, I'm Robin with Robin's Re3. Hi, Jean. I'm trying to get the comments up now. I'm not having a whole lot of luck. There they are. I can see them on my phone, but I wasn't seeing them on here. Hello. Hi, Dawn. Oh, let me get rid of our echo here. There we go. Hi, Sue. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Valerie. Welcome. I saw Jean pop on. Hi, Renee. And Susan. Welcome. Everybody enjoying the marathon today so far? A lot of talented people on here. All right. Tonight, I'm going to be using a Dollar Tree wreath base that I already put 18 tinsel ties on. And we're going to be using my sign. Hi, Johnny. This is my sign with my three gnomes. It's for Valentine's Day. I'm going with a little bit of a different color here. And I also have... Hi, Rhonda. So, these are my new items in my shop. And I'm going to post a link for you. I'm making wreath embellishments. Okay, these are the three little gnomes that I made to work with the sign. I also went ahead and made some balloons that I thought I'd get in there too. Um, working with some 21 inch mesh right now. And I got lots more. We've got um, tear tray signs coming. I have a new machine, it just got shipped out today. Um, there's a whole bunny set. There's a whole um, St. Patrick's Day leprechaun set, all made out of wood, all unique. Hi, Tracy. Welcome. Great job on the little wreath. I loved it. All right, so we're doing 10-inch puffs with a 21-inch mesh. I already got started on it because I, I knew everybody pretty much knows how to do a poof, so... Um, I thought I'd get started so I didn't run out of time. Am I still getting an echo here? Let me get rid of that for you. Sorry about that. There we go. All right. So I'm using this peach color. This sign has several colors in it. It has teal. It has blue. It has silver. It has purple. So there's a lot to choose from. Um... One of my customers made the wreath on her live today, and she used a blue 10-inch mesh, um, the snowball mesh, and it came out really cute. So you can choose several from the sign palette. I also do aprons, logos, we're going to be, like I said, adding a lot of uh, new signs and wreath embellishments to match. I always try to match my ribbon to my sign, too. Most of the time, the border matches the ribbon. They're scrolling. Sorry. Thank you. Hi, Linda. Hi, Lillian. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Joanne. If I miss you, thank you for sprinkling. Hi, Kathy. Thank you so much. Hi, Rhea. Well, welcome, Darla. That's funny. I usually don't use the 21-inch mesh. I just, I just seem to like the 10-inch mesh better. But because... These gnomes have a lot of peach and pink in them. This would kind of flush them out. So I'm actually going to be using another color on top. Another ruffle. Alright, let me cut this and secure it underneath. Well, welcome, Tanisha. I'm Robin with Robin's Re3.
secure this. Thank you, Brenda. Appreciate it. Thank you, Mel. Sorry to hear about, what was it, your stepson or stepson-in-law? Or I hope everything goes well. All right, so we've got the wreath base. Now I have this mesh, and it is cut at 18 inches. It has a little bit of a metallic in it, which I thought would complement the sign well. It almost looks like that teal running through it that you see in the sign. So we're just gonna do a ruffle with this. And don't forget, we've got two more days of these, of this marathon, so don't forget to check it out. I have the schedule on my page. Thank you, Sue. I loved your bow today. That was beautiful. Thank you, Susan. And Susan Galley, you need to tell me, thank you, Tanisha, you need to tell me which um, leprechaun. I've got all three of them back there. We've got it in Noom, Blockhead, and the tall guy. So got three to choose from. Can everybody see okay or do I need to zoom in a little more for you? Hey Missy, I was telling them you used my sign today and you went with a blue. Thank you Jean. Oops, let's do that again. So we've got 10 inch poofs and 18 inch, 10 inch mesh. Blockhead and the gnome. Okay, the blockhead matches. There's two different signs now, because we've got the gnome that matches the sign and we've got the blockhead that matches the other sign. So you think about it. Okay, a little closer, sure. We can do that. Thank you, Christy. And if you all are part of the marathon, watching our marathon, Positive Creation Wreaths and more, Christy, will be on after me. I will repeat it again throughout. So if you don't know, you can find Christy after me. Send <laughs> both. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, baby. <laughs> I'm also coming out with a new um, Valentine's Noon this week, too. So that will be available. And I'm coming out with a whole line of tear tray signs and little, little nooms for the uh, tear trays and little signs. So they'll be available too. All right. And I have that blockhead series of um so see so far we've got the Snowman blockheads, we have the gingerbread blockheads, we have the Raggy Annie blockhead, and now we have the Leprechaun blockhead. They come with the um, tinsel tie attached, so you can just attach it to your wreath. I got a new staple gun for Christmas. Right? Welcome, Georgie. I appreciate y'all stopping by and spending time with everybody who's part of the marathon. That's really sweet. 
I'll tell you, you can learn a lot from watching. And I've learned a lot today. I could only come on to sprinkle and watch a little bit occasionally because I run a business out of my home, a couple of businesses. So I had groomings and customers coming in for pet food and plus I have a litter of puppies, Yorkie puppies that are keeping me busy while well, the mama is. Well, welcome, Denise. Hi, Carolyn. I know, right? Well, it's kind of like a peach color, Mary. It's not so much an orange. It's more like a peach, a soft peach. And there is peach and pink in the sign and in the gnomes that come with this. Um, I should probably go ahead. I know, right? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the link to my Etsy shop. Oops. Yeah, that's right. So if there's anything you're interested in, it's all listed there. Um, except the blockhead leprechaun. I have to list him. And the, the gnome, the leprechaun. <gasps> really? Would that be Vicky? Because she's ordered the Annie. Huh. Now, did they put that on a unique in the creek board? I'm just curious. I mean, I sold a couple of her. This is what we're talking about, our Annie Blockhead. Isn't she a cutie? <laughs> She's become pretty popular. She's going to show up a few more times, not just for Valentine's Day, so she'll be around. I love this mesh. This metallic has like that teal coloring to it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to come up with different items. And like I said, my new machine will be here next week. So there's going to be a lot of unique stuff coming out of here. Oh, really? Is it a paid group? What, Like, what is it? You'll have to send me a link or something so I can check it out, Susan. I'd appreciate it. Did you get your stuff? Because Missy just got her, her stuff. And she's in um, Kentucky, so you should have gotten yours. The mesh, this is Craft Outlet, and I think the peach is Craft Outlet. It's a 21-inch peach mesh, and this is a 10-inch um, iridescent mesh. It's a CNC machine. I have a little one. So the little one has only limited us to doing smaller items. Um, but this one, sky's going to be the limit. So I am excited. We've been talking about it for a while since we've been using the little ones. The little one, um, we're starting to get a little better at it. So, I said to my husband, let's go big or go home. So, I ordered it. <laughs> He's actually getting very excited. Hi, Teresa. No problem. It's all right, Cece. I know who you are. <laughs> Do 
See, not bad. That happened to me today during s sprinkling somebody's, and then I asked a question, and it came through. It's no biggie. We're all friends. Oh, okay. So they must have a new group. I did meet Lori at um, when we went to that wreath conference couple, two years ago in Rochester. I had the chance to meet her. Oh, well, that's really as close, Eunice. Welcome. That's awesome. I don't get over there very often. In fact, when we first moved up here, um, because Wilkesboro had a Toys R Us, <laughs> I used to run a daycare out of my home, so that's usually the only time we went to, to Wilkesboro was for Toys R Us. But yeah, you aren't that far. Just head out 118 and you run right into Hughesville. Yes, and Miss Sue is living the good life in Florida right now. <laughs> she left all the cold and snow behind. I know, right? So many stores at our mall here closed. There isn't a lot around. Isn't that looking pretty? Just that that lavender on top of that peach. The peach is just kind of peeking through. But I think it'll be enough to kind of not wash these guys out. So, and I decorate them with glitter. Gotta have some glitter. And then we're gonna do the tails and a bow. I don't know, it took us a long time to get a Toys R Us near us and then, then they went out. Because like I said, we used to have to drive almost an hour and a half just to go to one that was closer. We are getting a Hobby Lobby this year, finally, because they closed AC Moore. You know you can, darling. <laughs> you can. That's why we do this. So people can duplicate. Well, Sue, if I ever get to Florida, I'm coming. Someday. Hi, Susan. Right? Oh, that's crazy there. I do like their Joann's in Wilkesboro. That's a really nice one compared to the little one we have over here. Well, welcome, Neva. How are you? Thank you, Sue. Yeah, please, please hit, what is it? The like button. I don't send out any announcements. I always go live 
Monday nights at 6 and Wednesday at 2 Eastern Standard. Oh, wow. I would love to live right down the street, although that would probably be a bad thing. <laughs> This mesh is stiff. There we go. Thank you, Joy. I also do custom signs and logos. There we go. All right, we've got everything on there. So let's go to the details. I brought the peach back up to the top. I have a gray and then I have this silver because and I didn't have the blue. There is there's like two blues in here. You've got this kind of teal color going on. And then there's a blue up in here, like a baby blue. You've got pink, you've got peach, you've got purple. And, you know, those are the colors I was grabbing from. I'm only going to do, um, I'm, I'm going to leave out one. I'm going to leave one open for the, um, the bow. Now I'm just checking. Sometimes with the Dollar Tree wreath frames, I want to make sure that my weld is not at the top and I'm not finding it so there it is right there all right so I want this to be the top so I'm going to start down here with my tails glitter going in. Thank you, Tammy. Tammy is one of my puppy moms. She's from New York. Hello, Deborah. Hi, Carol. Thank you. I wanted to go with something that wasn't your traditional um, Valentine's wreath. I just thought that would be different. Valentine's is one of my favorite holidays. And you all know how much I love my gnomes. The tails are cut at 12 inches. Well, thank you. And the gnome, the one gnome, there's a donut in there, and there's um, a couple ice cream cones and some, oh, I forget what those cookies are called, macaroons. Yeah, I've got some glitter on there, too, to enhance it. Thank you, Susan. Look at that, doesn't that? Oh my gosh. I also have a YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe there. I know. Right, Linda? 
They are. <laughs> I have my first one this year. I've never had one. And my my stepdaughter gave us some, and oh my gosh. I'm glad she only gave us a couple. Because <laughs> I didn't need any more. <laughs> but boy, were they good. The ribbons, I do have this ribbon in my shop with the sign and the nooms for sale. This ribbon was Craft Outlet, but I am carrying that ribbon now. This was Craft Outlet. This um, Swiss dot, the gray Swiss dot, was actually bought to go with um, my Bach head bunnies that I have coming out. I have it in the pink with the gray dots, and then it's coming out with the gray and the pink dots, and it'll match the sign. Like I said, I'm going to leave one of these open because that's where the bow is going to go. And I use tinsel ties instead of um, pipe cleaners. This is what tinsel tie looks like. It's a lot stronger. It does not break or rust like, tin like um, regular pipe cleaners. And all my wreath attachments, like the blockheads and the the um, little wooden ones, they're all coming with the the um, tinsel tie already attached. So you won't need to do anything except make your wreath and stick it on there. Thank you, Neva. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. There you go. Val's Visions is on first tomorrow. I'll tell you, it's really running smooth, and boy, some of the creations are incredible. Such talent. A long time, Deborah. I didn't start taking it seriously until about two years ago. In fact, I think it's this January or February. It's been two years that I've been with um, Lori's group, Hardworking Mom. And last year, I wanted a heat press. And my husband bought me one for Christmas. And then I found out that my um, Apple computer was able to read PNG files. So I was able to start making my own signs. So that's what started that. Ooh. 
Yes, it's really going smooth. I'm I'm really I'm happy with the way it's working out today. The last time I think we did it on YouTube and I had problems connecting and oh my gosh, what a mess. So and and the items I mean, have been incredible, too. Well, we've got a lot of talented ladies in our group. And Lori's been amazing with helping us, pushing us. You really have to know your software. Um, the heating process is not but the designing process can be intimidating. So, but um, like I said, I found out by accident that my, um, well, Apple was first, it was developed for designers. So little did I know. So yeah. And see, I'm, I'm not going to go all the way around here. I've got two blanks here and one blank down there. So, I think I'm going to put this one down here. Because I want my, my bow to be on the second level. So... Yeah, and I'll be getting into mugs and everything. So um, the heat press really is very versatile. Actually, I want my other bow maker. It's kind of tangled up in here. There we go. Let me just kind of scope this out because I want the sign in here. I still have my gnomes to put in here, so I'm just kind of doing a dry run here. So I think we'll go here with the bow, and then we'll kind of, maybe we'll put the sign in the middle, because I also have these balloons that I made that I cut out, and I want to get those on here too somewhere. So, I think the bow's going to go more up in here. And then I'll get my little noomies around there. Alright, so that kind of gives me an idea of how big I want to go here. Now, I could... Now... Nah. Leave it just the way I want, why I got it here. I'm gonna go with like a 12 inch. Actually, I'm gonna hang this. I got a hook just for that. To put it over there and get it out of my way. And that's what we're gonna do with it. There we go. Thank you. They were actually they were designed for my little I had a customer request a chocolate, uh, request an Easter recipe sign. So I made this little chocolate bunny, bunny along with the eggs to go with the sign. And the first batch of eggs we cut out were too big for the eggs. So it's like, okay, we'll just repurpose them. The, the recipe is really cute. It's for peanut butter eggs, and it is a real working recipe. It, it's so cute. you got to go in and check it out. Welcome, Judy. Yeah. Let's see, if I go about here, then I can measure out here. I'm going to go six inches. Okay, 
can always do this to check. This is a Bodabra. ribbon that I only have this left and it, I'm hoping we have enough here again I'm doing six inch loops with a 12 inch tail oh yeah we got it I, I do like it. I like the easy bow, but I can't get my my um, dowels to stay in. So now, because the gray is so close in color, I'm actually going to go with the, this color next. half inch shorter you know when I first started I loved the pro bow the hand because I was able to make a bow that to me was decent <laughs> and didn't look like a mess but I think now this one is my favorite because it just holds everything down. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Now, if I were to make a tree topper or something like that, then yes, I would use the other one. Oh, that's the trick then, wood glue. Thank you. And see, I'm not worrying that my tails are not the same in length. See, this one's much shorter than this one. They do not need to be. And see with it this way too, not doing two and a half, two and a half, one and a half. I'm actually giving my bow a little more dimension. Thank you. I appreciate that, Peggy. Now I'm going to use the peach next or coral. Like I said, this was this is really glittered and it's kind of stiff. And I'm just going to go with one here. Just one loop. Actually, I want my tail to be longer. I watched Missy do hers today and I like that she left the the front ribbon long and then she twirled it up. I love that. She is one of my bow favorites. Hi Ann, welcome. Oh, was Christy on? Okay, Christy is next at Positive Creations, Wreaths, and More. So if you want to watch her, I don't think I'm going to add that one. All right. Get some of my tinsel tie out. 
again, this is by far the sturdiest stuff. Plus, I'm sorry, I just can't, I cannot um, handle the real thin wire. I just can't do it. I'm just going to pull this out. I can't grip it very well, so. Thank you. Well, I it's kind of like I like everything to match. Maybe that's a bad quality. I don't know. It's just me. Now to cover up my zip tie, you all know my trick for that if you watch me. But I take a piece of coordinating ribbon. I take out the wire. Come on. This is a really good ribbon. Anytime I'm going to sell ribbon in my store, I always buy it ahead of time and test it out. Because there's some really crappy ribbon out there. And all but one I loved. So now I'm carrying it. All right, so I'm taking this. I'm actually going to fold it onto itself. So in threes or in thirds. Put a little glue on here. I try not to burn myself. And I don't know if you saw, but this, like mint color, this is also glittered. See, and then I take it like this, and I cover up my zip tie. It just makes it neat that your customer is not seeing all the mechanisms for your wreath. You're disguising it. It looks a little more professional. How am I doing on time? Okay, looks like we're we're pretty good. All right. So let's get our tails down. Pull them over first. There we go. Now let's put this on the wreath. Move this, move this, move this and this. There we go. Now, where was I? Over here. And see, with your tinsel tie, it's really easy to get that through as opposed to a real thin wire. A lot easier to work with, for me, anyhow. It may not be for others, but it is for me. lot longer than I needed it, that's for sure. All right, let's fluff this baby. It's really light. <laughs> and when I pull, it's moving. Get our teal in here, our mint color in between. Turn 
that around. And what I liked, what Missy did with hers today, is she took these two real long ones and curled them up. I thought that was really, really pretty. Thank you. Darla, I carry it in my shop. Hi, Vicki. Thank you. Um, I have the white and I have the beige in my shop. Um, it, anybody else, you know, like Craft Outlet, Trendy Tree, they all carry it too. But these are the two colors I have, the beige and the white, because that pretty much goes with everything. I just like the stability. I've had wreaths that sit outside and the next year I go to put them out and dampness and such will, will, will rust those pipe cleaners out. And like I said, when I sell my uh, wreath attachments, if they're wood, I include it. Um, I also, my gnomes, they also come with it. Okay, so there we got our bow. Alright, so now we're going to put our sign in here. And I think I'm going to go like just opposite of the, um, of this here. So, where's my... Now, let me see. Here and here I can get it. We're right about here. Yep, I need the other side. This one has two holes. And I think this is like in the section at Joann's that where you get your like scrapbooking. I have one of the little ones from um, jewelry making and it never seems to hold up for me. I'm going to go ahead. I like to, to do things different sometimes. And I did this the last time. I used ribbon to go through the hole. And then I used the tinsel tie to hold it in place. And then I just made a cute little bow. Which I hope I have enough of this to reach. Alright, let me see. Let's just go around it. It just so I don't see the hole. Thank you. I'm loving these colors together. I don't have enough, but I'm just going to tie a little knot and then go back and add more later. Because I'm watching my time. I got 10 minutes. I don't want Miss Christy to miss out on her audience. I don't want to be hoggish. And I'll probably change the color ribbon, but at least you can see. All right, so that's in there for now. Now let's see where we're going to place these. Um, I think we'll do one down here. So these already come already made. All you have to do is just use your tinsel tie to put it on your wreath. And what I want to do is I want to get it in my triangle. Um, and, and I do that, well, everybody does that for visual interest. So see, we've got like a triangle going on here. But... I may want to move this guy down here closer because I still have the balloons to put on. So, I don't know. I might, um, got balloons on both sides here. So, 
I may have to put them up here. And then one of these, i go with this one over here. So you have a visual of how I want it, want it to look. So if I don't get it done within 10 minutes, <laughs> you will see a picture of it afterwards, but at least you got a gist of what I want to do. may have to lower the sign just a little bit. This is a one of a kind. Thank you, Linda. I loved your butterfly. That was beautiful. I want it over here, I think, more. And then bring the ties down that way. I'm going to hold that off for a minute. And I'm always open for ideas, so if anybody has an idea they, they want me to try out for them, don't hesitate. I love being challenged creatively. <laughs> Come on. Gotta sometimes find the middle. There we go. What did we lose? Gnome down. There you go. That turned out really good. I really liked it, Tammy. Is my girl watching? Hey, sweet pea. There's Mama Robin's little girl. I gotta play around with it some more. See, this is the one with the macaroons, the donut, and the and the ice cream. Aw, usually they recognize my voice. They remember. A lot of my puppies watch my lives. And their parents say they go around running around the house looking for me. <laughs> so cute. Come on. So much mesh. Like I said, I have to play with it. Sometimes I have to step back and look at it a little bit. And I will do that when I'm done. How many of you continue to fluff your bow when you're done? <laughs> could go right here. I don't know. Hi, Will. Okay, where'd my other gnome go? Oh, there she is. This isn't doing it for me. Nope. It's got to go up here. There. 
I may have to leave the balloons off, but at least the option's there, so. Right, Eunice? You said it. Go big or go home. I may move this down just a little bit. One end of my staple came out. So we're just going to hit it with a little bit of glue. Oh, thank you, Dawn. I still have to adjust it a little bit. But at least you guys get the idea. Because I only got two minutes left. So I think I'm going to get this up in here. And I don't know if the balloons are going to go on or not. I could just put it... They really need to be at the top, though. So I don't know. I'll play with it some more. But again, I really appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Don't forget to like my page and check out my YouTube channel and check out my uh, Etsy store. All these items are on there. Make sure you um, favorite it because there's, a, like I said, a lot of new items coming. A lot of um, small wreath attachments um, like this and a lot of tear tray stuff coming. Okay. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. Thank you all for joining us. I, it's really appreciated. All right, you all have a great evening. Good night.